to go behind the back tyre. You never know. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. With our little pup river, we're driving our sprinter van east across Europe and into Turkey. Join us for a week of van life at the rocks of Meteora as we get up close and personal with one of the most magical sites in Greece. And I think we have found the best viewpoint of Meteora that has got no other people here in the middle of the day. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Welcome to Meteora, literally meaning suspended in the sky. This is an ancient landscape where monasteries cling to rock pinnacles over a thousand foot high. It's one of the most visited sites in Greece and our next stop on our journey east to Turkey. Good morning from Meteora. What's that like from me to you? From me to you. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are in Meteora, probably the most recommended thing for us to do in Greece. <laughs> Everyone has said we have to come here. We last saw you up in the mountains, we left them yesterday, drove about an hour and a half to get here last night and have woken up with these massive just below them, they are massive fantastic. pillars. Are you didn't know Meteora is famous for having monasteries built on top of these pinnacles. And it's also <laughs> famous for being in James Bond film. Which is where we're going this morning. We're going on a little hike to one of the monasteries that was featured in. What film was it? For your, for your eyes, eyes only. only. I've never seen it myself. So the first part of the hike is through the oak forest at the bottom of these pinnacles. The path is really easy to follow. As Ben said, we're heading to the monastery that was featured in James Bond. It's one of the most popular hikes to do. Apparently there's loads of hiking trails at the bottom of the rocks that the monks used centuries ago. So do you recognise it from James Bond? No. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch the film. Did you go across in that? Oh, do you know what? I'd have to be gripped onto the floor. <laughs> There's no sides or anything. It's used predominantly for like services, so they're doing a lot of building work on this one. And there's loads of like buckets of sand that they're ferrying back and forth. Oh really? Yeah, so it's obviously just yeah, for services rather than for people. I think. But we did see a bloke in there earlier. <laughs> the Monastery of the Holy Trinity has been a monastery since the 1300s. In our opinion, these precariously perched monuments are best appreciated from a distance, but you can climb the 140 steps to go and have a look inside. Thankfully, there's no need to do a Roger Moore and scale the cliffside with ropes and a hammer. So Meteora is renowned for as well as being beautiful, also being incredibly busy. We were on the road for like two minutes and about three or four tour buses passed us already. However, getting off on these little hiking trails, the views are absolutely amazing. You're just clambering amongst all of the rocks and there's no one else here. It's absolutely beautiful. We feel like you've got the place to yourself. We are going to visit the monasteries, but um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. So we're going to head on to another hiking path just around here. But as you can see there, uh, there's thick black rain. So we're going to head back down and grab some food, I think. So we got here, we're here for another day, so we can go see more tomorrow. So we're going to try and beat this rain cloud back but I can already feel spots of rain, so I don't know how successful we're gonna be. Well, we're back at the van, a little damper, the one we left. Are you ready? She... <laughs> she... <laughs> Somebody's she loves... ready, don't tease her, get on she there. She loves getting dry for the towel. <laughs> Is that nice? <laughs> She's a little wet dog. Hey, are you all damp? You know that Mother Teresa? Help me, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> five. There's five, for, five red Ferraris in front that Ben is desperately trying to keep up with. Yeah, there's six of us, look at us. Five red French Ferraris. And one sprinter sort of, van. And one sprinter van. <laughs> How does he look? Yeah, it looks excellent. This is to go behind the back tyre. 
You never know. That's amazing. Mwah. God, <laughs> I don't know what happened to that rain because now it has turned into the hottest day ever. Because I'm not really sure where the hell I'm going, but I'm gonna keep driving. So I've had to wait until the sun has dipped below this rock in front of us because it has been so hot in this kitchen. The sun has been beaming in and it has been that hot. I haven't even been able to stand on the floor where the sun has been shining because it has been burning, burning hot. And what is with the weather here? It's absolutely crazy. For dinner, we are having these plant-based kebab meat stuff. This is absolutely amazing. Found this at the supermarket. This is probably our fifth or sixth bag of it so far. So good. I'm just lying in River's dog bed because it is so comfy. <laughs> it's just like a million pillows and blankets. And it's so nice and warm outside and I'm really tired today. Good girl. <laughs> We are going to go park up at the top for sunrise because mm. it's this beautiful clear morning. It's very early. We've literally just rolled out of bed and got in the van. <laughs> so this is the um, Valar Monastery, which is the second largest monastery up here. It's meant to be absolutely beautiful inside. Kind of looks like some Italian palace. So hopefully we're gonna try and get in there later if the crowds aren't too big. But yeah, we're just gonna be up here to watch the sunrise. There used to be 24 monasteries on the rocks at Meteora, but today there are only six. The monks who built them did so to avoid persecution, scaling these sheer vertical cliff faces to do so. The rocks are so big, it seems an impossible task. You realise that it must have been such a testament to their faith that they succeeded. The isolation of these peaks bringing them both physically and figuratively closer to God. Beautiful sunrise and it was so warm as well. We left at about what half six this morning. We got yeah. here about quarter to seven and then it was for like another 45 minutes for sunrise. So I was a little bit early, <laughs> better than late. But the sunrise as it comes over the mountain here and shines down on um, one of the monasteries, just breathtaking, it's fantastic. So that was an amazing sunrise over Meteora. We're still pretty early, so we're gonna try and get into one of these monasteries before the big tour buses arrive. Unfortunately, we've gotta go separately because River can't come with us. I'm also not sure how much you're allowed to film in there, so we can take you anyway, see what we can get. Are you gonna be all right on your own? Yep, I've got some work bits to catch up on, so you go and explore. I'll look after River, and then we'll do a swap when we get back. Okay, we get back. cool. It's absolutely beautiful up here. It feels like some sort of luxury resort. It is just incredible how they built these on these pinnacles, I have no idea. So there are a lot of viewpoints along the roads to look at all the rocks, but nothing beats being on top of one of these pinnacles looking across the valley. I've also been given a skirt to wear, even though I've got long trousers on. If you're a woman, you still have to wear a skirt, so they provide these for you at reception. So I can film in the grounds, but just not in the main chapel. I've just been into the main chapel, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of it somewhere. It is amazing, just water ceiling and murals. I wonder if it's because it's Greek Orthodox, it's a little different to what you're normally used to seeing in churches, but it was pretty special. So this is the pulley system that lifted goods and monks and stuff from the top of these rocks all the way to the bottom. I 
have fun. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Up top. Yeah, you'll see it's pretty obvious. Bye bye. Bye. Back and I have done all of that. I'm zero coffee this morning. I am parched. Someone please give me a medal. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see ports. Oh, it was absolutely. The church was insane, wasn't it? The church was insane. You can't take any photos or video there. But, oh, the, the uh, artwork, like, painted on the walls and things, and depicting, yeah. lots of it depicting, like, death and, like, torture and war. What else have you got? I thought we need to buy stuff to, like... So I got a little... Oh, my like, God. Are you right there, Nan? Yeah, but it, we have We're going to have these on our, on our fireplace when we get our little bungalow. <laughs> so we've just walked a little bit away from the car park and I think we have found the best viewpoint of Meteora that has got no other people here in the middle of the day. What do you think? It's beautiful, isn't it? Literally, look at that. What a way to end our couple of days in Meteora. That viewpoint was insane. But I'm gonna keep driving till I forget about wheeling West Virginia. Oh, yeah. So before we leave Meteora, we have one major job left to do, and that is post our stickers. I'm so sorry if you've ordered some stickers from us in the last like three weeks. As you've seen from our videos, we've been up in the mountains and would have been near any major post offices. So I'm really sorry that they've taken this long to get to you, but they are on their way. They're coming to you from Meteora in Greece. So thank you so much for your patience and I really hope you enjoy your stickers. So we have officially left Meteora. We have realized that we've been in Greece now for three weeks. Can you believe it? So after three weeks of exploring the mountains, we thought it was about time that we started to head towards the coast. And look at what is coming into view. That is Mount Olympus, seat of the gods. Can you believe it? Okay, so after a quick Google, turns out that was not Mount Olympus. It was Mount Osler, which is a different mountain. However, Mount Olympus is somewhere over here to the left of us, completely obscured by storm clouds. But it is there. Angry storm clouds. Beautiful sea. Well, three weeks into Greece and we finally have a beach park up. So nice to be here. You should check out the storm clouds behind me though, over the mountains. It looks like the gods are angry. Got David Attenborough over here. I've lost Spot it now. Spotting some bloody wildlife in the sea. Um, I think it's, tur it's two turtles, I think. So, uh, swimming quite far out, you won't, probably won't be able to see them. This is why we need binoculars. <laughs> We're going to buy some binoculars in Finesse and Luminki. So I've just got the task. Ben's just taken a photo. You've caught, and I've got to lighten it and zoom in. That's like a fucking dinosaur. I suspect it's a. Uh... Why is it that shape though? And got. A big, it or might be the just, yeah, but it might be like a, just a bottle or something. Yeah. No, oh, I got all excited. I got all excited. I'll tell you about the David Attenborough comment. I even got the super zoom lens out for what we spy on through people's windows. That yeah. isn't that isn't true. That isn't true. No, it's not far enough. Well, so far the rain hasn't set in. It is looking very grey, literally, in a big circle around us. But it's actually a beautiful, balmy evening. I'm really hoping we get to see Mount Olympus when those clouds clear, because that might be where we're going next week. We're going to go and take River for a little walk, stretch our legs, see what's around. Oh yeah, my god! Come on, off. Oh, is it? Yeah. Off. 
This doesn't look like a sewage pipe though. No, it doesn't look quite, it might be a water pipe, but overflow pipe, but. It's not natural. It's not natural now. I thought oh, I was running a natural spring on the beach. Go, 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 go. Oh. Definitely spoke too soon. The phrase calm before the storm springs to mind. But why it was so peaceful five Whoa. minutes ago. What a difference from yesterday. One of my favorite upgrades that we made in the van was adding the new windows, especially this big sliding window by the bed because it means I get to enjoy views like this while I'm in bed with my coffee. She loves being by the beach though. Look how excited she is. She's very excited. <laughs> See dolphins leaping out of the car. Oh, awesome. You sure it was a dolphin? 100%. 100% it is definitely not a boy. Uh, or a lobster pot. Or a lobster pot this time. Because it's flat and it, I literally jumped out of the water. Is this, this is why we need binoculars. What's the river doing? What's the river looking up at me for? <laughs> Hello river. You never see me set up here, do you? This is my this is my animal watching perch. What do you want? <laughs> Do you know what I mean when I say it's like a beautiful lilac evening? Just like the light is beautiful and soft. It's been such a gorgeous day today. The sea is so flat. Just behind me, the clouds are cleared and you can see some of Mount Olympus. We have had a, such a busy past three weeks since we arrived in Greece. We've been hiking, sightseeing, hiking and more hiking. And we just really needed some time just to decompress and relax. And this is the perfect spot for it. And it's our first beach park up of the trip. We're literally on the sand. Look at that. All right guys, well I think this is gonna be us for the next few days. Hopefully next week, we should be heading over to those mountains to go and explore around Mount Olympus. But in the meantime, we're gonna leave you here with these beautiful sea views. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow our adventures over to Turkey. And we shall catch you guys next Sunday. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, River. <laughs> Poo with a view, River. Hey. I'll give you some privacy. The camera kiss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kisses. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> We've gone from Rainy McRainerson to Roasty McRoasterson. Roasterson. McRoasterson. Steve McRoasterson. Steve McRoasterson.